Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Toronto at Snowflake World Tour, where I'm now delighted to be joined by Andrew Hall, VP of AI and Data Management at Moneris. Andrew, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Chris. Great, great, uh, great to be here. I'm really excited to uh, see Data World Tour in Toronto again. The excitement and buzz is all around us. At Moneris, your job is to empower business owners to keep doing business their way while you handle the payment processing the safe way, the always connected way, and your integrated tools help your clients maximize their profits. What's the data showing you, Andrew? Yeah, so you know, it's interesting. I think the data is showing us that our, our merchants, our clients, they want more data. So they're very hungry. It's, it's hard enough running a small business or even a large business, you know, without having to be sort of an expert at your accounting or your, your um, you know, managing your, your revenues and your, your, all of the sort of payment processing, the, the complexity of business that we abstract for them. And so they're just hungry for more insights and analytics that they can action. So we're really focused on, you know, expanding our footprint to give back more of their data to them, to turn it from raw data into insights and, and things they can action, as well as like AI solutions in path that will, you know, if they want to process a refund, we can sort of find that refund, apply the apply the refund to their customer and sort of seamlessly do that for them within the, you know, the Snowflake environment. So that's what we're really focused on. Great to hear, Andrew. Moneris is very much at the intersection of consumer behavior and payment processing. From your seat, what trends have you noticed with regards to both? I think the you know the trend it's an interesting one is it's that line is getting really blurred between consumer and merchant. I think you know we launched our Apple Soft Paws um, tap to pay solution earlier this year, and you know the trend towards micro merchants and side gigs and uh, hustle economy sort of is really growing, and so we see a lot of you know consumers who are also merchants and merchants who are consumers in this space, and so. In that micro space, again, it's a lot. It's a lot of creating customer service experience that are AI driven, so that we get the economies of scale, um, enabling sort of solutions that don't require them to pick up a phone and call us. So a lot of uh, focus on sort of blurring that line further and, and abstracting away the complexity from our merchants so they can continue to like focus on their business. Great insights and perspectives, and this feeds perfectly into AI and the impact it will continue to have on everyday life. How do you see it playing a long-term role specifically in the payments ecosystem? I think the big thing in the payments ecosystem is, you know, we're seeing this trend already, but data sharing across financial institutions, acquirers, payment processors, to sort of target the, um, the things that where the, a rising tide will lift all boats. So this is like fraud and cybersecurity, right? We, the better we can get at detecting fraud, the better we can prevent cyber threats. Um, and leveraging AI and a shared shared data across the ecosystem to do that, sort of everybody wins. And so I think, you know, the ability for us to share data with other processors, with um, financial institutions, banks, and um, other risk platforms, that's going to just enable us to have better actionable uh, rules to take against sort of our, our fraud and cyber threats. Great to hear. I know a topic that is very near and dear to Moneris is ESG. Your team recently released their latest report. Can you walk us through the findings and how will Moneris continue to harness data to empower a better future for all? Yeah, so our ESG report, um, you know, we have three pillars within that space and it's our community, our team and our governance. The, the, on the community side, you know, we, we get into a lot of the sort of environmental responsibility. Um, Specifically, we have the largest uh, service fleet in Canada for a payment processor, and so we focused on converting all those vehicles to be uh, electric or hybrid electric or low emissions vehicles. You know, to ensure that we are, you know, creating sort of a, a sustainable future for uh, for everyone in Canada, but you know that we're doing our part to sort of contribute in that space. It's clearly all happening here in Toronto at Snowflake World Tour. What are you hearing today, and what excites you most for what's next in the AI data cut ecosystem? You know, I've the thing that I've loved about Snowflake since day one is the abstraction of complexity, right? We, I want my team to focus on delivering value add solutions for our merchants and not becoming subject matter experts in how to you know, build really complicated uh, data pipelines. And so 
from day one, Snowflake, that has been a core principle of them. And I, I'm so excited to see all of the innovation in the, the AI toolkit that now is part of the Snowflake environment, right? As we can trivially deploy that AI against our data, we can move to market faster with all of these different solutions. And so just that continued abstraction of complexity, you know, we're getting to a, a world probably where the data scientists, may, maybe they'll cease to exist and you just have business people sort of uh, deploying these things uh, very quickly. So I'm, uh, I'm excited for that future. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. Andrew, it's such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud now here in Toronto at Snowflake World Tour. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.